Joe Biden won the 2020 election. Wear a mask, get vaccinated, and follow all your local health guidelines. This video here, I want to cover a claim that is not true. A claim that says there is video evidence which they cannot prove. But it's being spread, and they're using each other as proof that it's real. Let's get into it. John Fredericks joined Steve Bannon on his podcast, okay, on his show. And on the show, John Frederick says there's video of 240 people being ballot traffickers. Can't provide the video, though, because apparently it doesn't exist or it doesn't show what they say it does. Let's continue. That gets covered by Gateway Pundit. You're seeing how it's starting to intermix, right? They're starting to mix together. Well, of course it's real because Steve Bannon said it. That's not how reality works. And if you scroll down through, there's nothing really here. They talk about the video, but the only video they have is the video of these two talking about a separate video. But, 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 if you go down through, there's an update to the story. Cool, is that where the video is? No, that's not where the video is. It's just an update now saying the exact same thing, saying that they were putting ballots into drop boxes in the middle of the night, which yet again, no evidence supports this. But let's scroll down. As we scroll down, you'll see uh, True the Vote being mentioned here with all this stuff in Breitbart via Breitbart. Cool. Let's check Breitbart. So we check Breitbart, and you'll notice you're not seeing any of this stuff. Where is all of this coming from? Where is all of this coming from? And look at this. It says, if law enforcement doesn't initiate investigations, we have plans to release all the data, all video publicly. But you're saying the video exists. Why can't you release it publicly if it's showing what you claim? Probably because they haven't filmed it yet. But let's continue. There's no evidence that this video exists. But where did all this, this stuff come from? Well, Breitbart doesn't have it, obviously. True the vote. True the vote is referencing the Breitbart article, which is referencing another True the Vote article. And they're also referencing Steve Bannon, who's referencing True the Vote's video. That no one's seen. You, you see how this is just all incestuous mixing with no proof. None. And as we scroll down through, you'll see things here where some of which was highlighted in the article. Oh, what article could they be using to push their claims? Breitbart talking about True the Vote. So True the Vote got talk, made a claim. That claim got talked about on Steve Bannon's show that then got covered by the Gateway Pundit, that then got covered by Breitbart, that then got covered by True the Vote, and then because True the Vote covered Breitbart, the Gateway Pundit then covered True the Vote's response to Breitbart. And True the Vote, in their response, uses Breitbart's article talking about them as some form of proof. All the way down the line, there is no proof. None. And look and see what comes next. No action's been taken. So their claim is that they found all this stuff and that law enforcement just won't do anything. But don't worry, they're going to take action. They're going to release video. Why wouldn't they release it anyway? But you might see all this and go, no one's believing this. No one's believing this. Well, if you want to see where misinformation first spreads, here's Twitter. Oh, well, look at that. Independent Sentinel. I didn't even know this one exists, huh? Oh, where is their source? True the vote. Responding to Breitbart, which, is, which was... Responding to Steve Bannon. You, you see how this is all junk. But Twitter has people believing it. And YouTube has people starting to make videos on it. So, moral of the video, right? What I wanted to get across here. These stories have one, one place make a claim with no evidence. None. No evidence was given whatsoever. And it gets covered by people like this.
and then news articles start covering it because people like this people believe them they don't believe true the vote but maybe they'll believe these two so then other news articles will say well this other news station rep article reported on it mind you news is being used very loose here they're reporting on it therefore we can report on their reporting then people like true the vote can say okay well you spoke about us so therefore we're going to use you speaking about us through someone else to then use you for validation and if you go back and go digging through the core there's nothing there there never was anything there but the issue is by the time it reaches twitter by the time it reaches youtube by the time it spreads out and becomes a large story tracking it down is almost impossible because they're all quoting each other and then because people will always be able to say well, I don't trust True the Vote, but I trust Steve Bannon, or I trust Breitbart, or I trust the Gateway Pundit. They will believe something that has no backing. And when you say, there's no evidence for that, the 2020 election was fair and was won by Joe Biden. They'll say, well, what about all these articles? All these articles. There's more every 20 minutes. What about all of them? They're referencing each other. They're one article, one statement being referenced. Oh, no, 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 no. True the Vote has a second statement. Oh, what's that second statement doing? It's building off of a news article that was on the first statement because they don't have anything. In conclusion, as always, Joe Biden won the 2020 presidential election. Their needs be mandates because of people like this lies spread because of people like this and it's worrying that people just immediately believe it if you heard these fantastical claims all they would have to do is do what i did a little bit of searching right now a little bit of searching and find out that there was never any solid proof ever given there was no one of real trust saying these things but instead the ones that find it now will go on twitter make a youtube video spread it as truth and then just get wrapped up in a lie see you in the next video